Hey, what's up guys? Andy here from Krusty Plug and thank you so much for joining me for today's video. In today's video, we are going to have a look at my very latest pickups from earlier this week or throughout this week. And before we get to it, I would like to just give you a quick heads up and let you know what's happening at this end as far as all the kind of uh, pickups are concerned. I have a major backlog that's probably worth of uh, at least three weeks uh, of pickups I am yet to kind of share with you. So bear with me on that stuff, but what I decided to do, uh, concentrate um, on the very latest pickups, i.e. you know, this week. And then going forward again, I will be concent concentrating on any sub subsequent weeks that I'm, you know, for example, next week, next Sunday, um, probably will be trying uh, to do another video to reflect what I'm going to be picking up or what I picked up uh, uh, next week. But in between these kind of like weekly uh, updates, um, I will be trying to go back and also pull out some stuff that I have picked up earlier on two, three, four weeks ago, uh, which I haven't actually shared with you yet, and make some uh, additional videos to also get to that stuff and uh, ultimately share with you as well before actually that old stuff is getting uh, injected into my collection. Uh, so anyway, that's the plan. So there will be some uh, additional videos coming in here and there. So just uh, stay tuned and you will uh, see them in, in, um, in due course. But today, um, as mentioned already, we are looking at um, my very latest pickups from uh, throughout this week. I actually did pick up my very last thing in this um, pile here I'm going to be showing you uh, today from Local CX, but I'm going to explain all, all that in due course a little bit later in this video so let's jump in and have a look what I picked up well ultimately um, just a little kind of again um, second heads up so to speak um, there, there were a few things I picked up uh, on top of what I'm going to be showing uh, here but these other things were, were pretty much uh, picked up only with one aim to kind of like flip them and ultimately get some extra money coming in to um, uh, enable me to inject more money again into my uh, collection. So I'm not going to be covering everything 100% I picked up um, this week, but I will be covering which kind of is relevant to my personal co collection and what I'm kind of, you know, keeping and uh, th there will be maybe a few that I'm going to show that I'm, you know, um, going to be trading. So let's jump in. First of all, um, I picked up um, a little uh, PSP uh, slash Blu-ray uh, bundle from one of the local charity shops. Uh, they were doing some uh, Blu-ray discs for 50 pence a piece. I picked up two and also they had three uh, PSP games in stock at the, on the day I went in and uh, I bought all three of them. Uh, they were all pound each and I thought they are definitely worth pound each. And when I came home, I couldn't remember whether I got um, all of them or any of them and it transpired I didn't have any of them in my collection. So I am uh, super, super excited to add these games to my collection because uh, I am looking out for any games ultimately I don't have in my collection. And if I ever get my hands on or anything that I don't have, whether it's bad or good, uh, whether it's a great game or, or not so great game, I'm, I'm still happy to, you know, scoop them up and add to my collection because I am completionist, so ultimately I am trying to uh, go for complete collections, you know, it's a long road ahead, but um, that's the way I roll. So, um, the first um, game in that PSP uh, scoop uh, was Sonic Rivals. And this actually is in really good clean condition and um, most importantly it is also complete with a manual. Um, I love my games complete with manuals so if they do not have manuals and if the price is right I still do pick them up without manuals in, in a kind of in a hope that I will be either able to pick a, a spare manual somewhere down the line or simply I will get a full copy at some point and then I can you know swap them out. Um, but yeah, this was complete. I have not played this game, so not really uh, sure um, about this particular game, but I have played some other Sonic games in the series and I do enjoy them, so uh, I think Sonic games are, are, are great games. Now, um, I haven't played this particular game, but uh, again, I have played a few games in the series and they are great fun, so I am looking forward to checking this out at some point. And the gaming question is Worms Open Warfare 2 for PSP of course. Uh, unfortunately this one was 
one of the three games that didn't have manual, so there is no manual. But what I'm finding really cool because it's got the kind of um, inner artwork as well um, in the case. So um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I really want to check this out. Um, and the third game I picked up was SSX on Tour. So this is obviously a snowboarding game. Um, I think I have played one or two games in the series before um, and kind of enjoy them in a way. I'm not big on you know things like that like uh, BMX ga uh, games or like skating games or like you know sports games kind of sportish games in, in general um, but actually I might check this out at some point and this is also complete with manual which is great. So these were uh, one pound each and then uh, the two Blu-ray uh, discs I picked up, uh, which again is in, in good condition. Uh, first one is Cemetery Junction uh, with Ricky Gervais. Um, I looked up, I, I didn't know much about this, I looked it up and it, it gets actually a really good write-ups. So I am looking forward to checking this out. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, uh, never was really a big fan of Ricky Gervais, but he kind of has grown on me big time as of late. And um, yeah, I really want to check this out. And the other one uh, is The Last Stand with Arnie. Uh, so I haven't seen this. I really like Arnie as an actor. Um, maybe it is a bit of nostalgia because I really liked his, you know, earlier films like, you know, your Terminators, Commandos, uh, Predator, stuff like that. So um, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed his early stuff. Um, but uh, have not seen this, so I want to really check it out. Worst case scenario, if, if I don't like it, I can always trade trade it on. Okay, then moving on, um, one of the charity shops done a, a, a little um, game drop for me, um, and I picked up these old games I'm going to be showing you for one pound a piece. Uh, a few of them actually I did have in my collection already, but I picked them up anyway because I knew I will be able to get a, a, a couple pounds uh, for these games back in, in, in trades. Um, so ultimately, yes, I'm, I'm going to be flipping these. But, uh, well, the three games that's be, that, that are being flipped straight away uh, are Mario Sports Mix. Um, this, I think, goes for about £10 retail. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit, the case is a little bit scuffed and it's missing the manual. But anyway, uh, seeing as I paid pound, I definitely will be able to get, you know, maybe like a five or four or something like that. Uh, Just Dance 4, this is complete. Uh, I think this goes for about eight pounds or thereabouts. Um, again, picked up it for pound, so we'll definitely make a, a few quid on it. And <clears throat> Just Dance, um, this is not expensive. I think it's about three pounds retail, so, but still I paid only a pound, so I maybe will be able to make a, a, a pound or two and um, yeah, get, get something a little bit back for it. And um, then uh, one Xbox 360 game as well I picked up. I actually did have this game in my collection already, but I picked it up anyway. I think it retails for about uh, five pounds, sorry. And um, it transpired that my copy actually has, I think quite scratch disc and also uh, the artwork has some water damage. So this is in a better condition. So ultimately I will be swapping this game out and it is Viva Pinata. Um, so as I said, I did have this already, but ultimately um, this is kind of being replaced uh, and it's complete with manual, which is nice. Um, then this game here is another Wii game, which I do have in my collection, but I decided to keep this particular copy for the time being and um, because it's a slightly different artwork. And, and, and I am, I, I mentioned this in a previous uh, in some of my previous videos, I am sucker for this. So if I pick a game up uh, that I actually already have in my collection, if it has different artwork or if it's or if it's from different region, I go, I'm gonna hold on for it at least for for the time being until decide what I want to do with this kind of aspect of collecting. Um, but ultimately, yes, that's what's happening at the moment, and it is uh, Mario Kart V. So this is uh, a complete copy with manual. Ultimately, this was part of bundle. It says not to be sold separately um, from front. So I think it was part of the deal with uh, our bundle with the uh, steering wheel. But nonetheless, this particular version with, with the USK rating 
um, I don't have uh, and I'm gonna keep it. Having said that, you know, I am tempted actually to flip it because I think that game, um, I can't remember, I think it's just under 20 pounds or something or thereabouts uh, retail value, so the, there's definitely a, a few pounds to be made on that game. Um, but yeah, for, for now, I'm gonna be keeping it. And then <clears throat> the another Wii game in that kind of um, part of that bundle I picked up, which I do not have in my collection, so this is uh, a brand new edition, and I'm not sure how it's pronounced, I think it's Anubis, Anubis 2, so I did not have this at all, so I'm very pleased uh, to add another uh, Wii game, and this is complete with manual, so uh, that's another game going into my Wii collection. Alright, um, then one of the local charity shops, they, I keep mentioning this charity shop um, ever so often in my videos, um, they all the time pretty much uh, doing this deal, five uh, media pieces for one pound, so it's end up you, you're picking up five pink pounds and it works out 20 pence a, a piece. Um, I did pick up a, a little bundle from them one day uh, earlier this week, they didn't have really much anything uh, in at the time, so I picked up a V game and a five, oh, sorry, four DVDs, so pay the pound. Uh, three DVDs I'm gonna be flipping, um, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident I will be able to make a few uh, few pounds back there, so ultimately um, this stuff that I'm keeping, you know, gonna cost me nothing. And um, I am I am keeping one of the DVDs, and it is Bambi 2 Special Edition, which is obviously a Disney production. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. I do like an occasional Disney film, and especially I got uh, two two young daughters, fairly young daughters, and they do um, enjoy as well watching cartoons still. Um, so yeah, that this is kind of like a, a family film, obviously. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to keep this for for now, and then later on, uh, maybe I can upgrade this to like Blu-ray or, or you know, well, ultimately flip it. Um, and then the V game that I did not have in my collection and that's being added. Unfortunately, this is bundle copy, so this is uh, meant to be um, complete with the, a little uh, drawing tablet, but it's not there. But nonetheless, uh, a solo disc, a solo game, uh, I'm, I'm still happy to kind of plug a hole on my shelf. And it's Udraw Studio Instant Artist. So this is bundle copy, but it is complete so and I did not have this in my collection so yeah happy to uh, add another RV game into my V collection then moving on um, there's a few more films to show um, uh, one of the charity shops uh, they were selling some blu-rays for £1.99 and I spotted a couple Arrow uh, video releases which normally are um, quite thought after and um, they kind of do tend to keep a little bit value as well um, normally even if you buy them in the CX and stuff or or you know second-hand market you, you you know you're not gonna get them like cheap cheap so for one pound 99 uh, I think that was a really good value really good deal on these two tiles um, I haven't uh, seen one of them I have seen another one very very long time ago so I have to kind of watch both of them and then decide whether I'm happy to keep these um, in my collection at the moment I am keeping them in my collection but uh, you know if I watch them and decide that uh, I do not like them for whatever reason I'll be trading them on and if I do end up trading then I'm definitely gonna get some um, money for these and the first one is uh, crime uh, crimes of passion so here we go, Arrow release, Crimes of Passion. And the second one is Hellraiser. So this is the one I have seen but very, very long time ago, just to remember it very faintly. Um, so yeah, wanna re-watch it and see if it still, you know, holds any uh, value for me, if I like it and, um, you know, take it from there. And then um, I picked up five DVDs and three Blu-rays in one of the other charity shops locally and they were pound but uh, I went to counter and I asked, I asked lady um, if they were doing any deals on media she said well we, we, we are not doing any deals but she says let's kind of give you a deal of some sort and actually I ended up instead of paying uh, eight pounds I ended up paying five pounds so paid less than a pound per, per title and for um, 
DVDs I'm putting aside, they are sealed and I'm going to be trading them so uh, they hold a little bit of value and I'm definitely going to be get, getting some money back there. But uh, the fifth DVD which I'm uh, keeping for now and I'm keeping is purely for my eldest daughter because she's at the moment going through some mad manga slash uh, anime. Uh, spell so she really likes reading manga she really likes watching anime so um i seen this and i thought yeah she would appreciate it and it is the girl who leapt le leapt through time or leaped hunts oh, leapt leaped leap i think um yeah so um i'm keeping that one and then um we got here a blu-ray copy of battleship i have seen this film already I don't rate it particularly well. I think it's average um, as far as the kind of the the story goes and acting goes and stuff like that, you know, and and, and you know <clears throat> everything that there is. But uh, I want to re-watch it because I didn't have it in my collection, so I want to re-watch it and see how I feel um, about it. But ultimately, uh, what I really like liked in this film was the uh, alien crafts. Uh, I think the CGI was pretty, pretty well done, uh, pretty good, and uh, you know, yeah, the special effects were awesome, and I enjoyed that. So I'm a big sucker for like a sci-fi and special, a good special effects. So yeah, I'm gonna rewatch it and then kind of make my final decision. And then I also got copy two copies of uh, uh, another, well, another two copies of Blu-ray discs, and it's Kill Bill Volume One and Volume Two. So, uh, I don't think there's much commentary needed here. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about Kill Bill, Quentin Tarantino. Um, I have uh, seen both films. Um, have I? I'm pretty sure I've seen both. I definitely have seen the first one, but I'm, I'm, no, I have seen the second one as well. Yes, I realize now, just looking at the back. Um, so, I have seen both films. Um, absolutely love these films. I did not didn't have them in my collection and when I seen these Blu-rays I decided to grab them and for less than a pound per piece I think that is an awesome deal and I'm adding them to my collection. Okay, um, then I have uh, a three PS2 games that are being added to my collection. I did not have these. I picked up these three in one of the charity shops in town. Um, one pound each uh, transpired. Uh, I couldn't remember whether I had them. I knew that I didn't have one of these games uh, in my collection, but I couldn't remember about the other two. Either it transpired that I didn't have any of them in my collection. So adding three games uh, further uh, three PS2 games into my collection so pretty pretty pleased about that so one pound each so first of all got Need for Speed Pro Street uh, this is uh, a complete copy in reasonable condition so for one pound pretty happy and uh, then we got here Mary Kate and Ashley Sweet 16 licensed to drive so that's another one I did not have up till now and this is another complete copy again so pretty happy about that. And then we got Shrek Super Slam. I'm pretty sure that I did have this in my collection once upon a time, but I ended up trading it. So I am pretty pleased to add it back in. And this is once again complete um, with manual. So that's a, a further three PS2 games. All right, um, then I got um, another Wii game. Uh, it was $1.99. Uh, did not have this in my collection, so I was happy to grab it. It's not particularly um, expensive in retail terms, so I think it's actually is about a couple pounds in retail terms or even less. So I maybe even kind of like overpaid a little bit for it, but nonetheless, I didn't have it, so I thought, why not, I'll grab it. And it is Monkey Mischief 20 games. Um, and this one is complete with manual, so which is a bonus always. Then I got Xbox 360 title, which I didn't have in my collection, and it's a Kinect enabled title or Kinect title. Um, and it is Dr. Kawashima's Body and Brain Exercises, a Namco title. And uh, the rear. And this one again is uh, complete. 
uh, with manual. There is a little um, rip on the back cover. Uh, the, actually, the plastic is ripped and there's some sellotape on it. Um, but nothing's too major, so I'm seeing as I paid only a pound, um, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. And then I picked up um, a PC game which I uh, did have in my collection a while back and then I think I traded it, sold it. Uh, so I'm kind of um, happy to add it back into my collection and it is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare uh, Game of the Year Edition. Um, fantastic game as far as the single player goes. Uh, really, really enjoy the single player campaign. It's complete. Um, back then when the game came out I actually uh, got it on my Xbox 360, I think I completed it on my Xbox 360 and then I, I think sold my 360 copy uh, and later on I picked up a PC copy and replayed it again on PC and uh, enjoyed it even more on PC because it was kind of uh, graphic, graphically, um, graphic, uh, yeah in graphical terms, graphic wise it was actually much better, uh, excuse me, a better eye candy. But uh, yeah, the gameplay uh, and story, I think it was uh, really good, so I, I really enjoyed it. So that was another three games. Um, then, um, okay, let's cover this little CX bundle. So um, earlier in the week, I popped in my local CX and actually uh, picked up um, Four PlayStation 2 titles and one Xbox OG title, uh, but uh, earlier on today I had to actually return one of the tiles because um, when I removed all the stickers under uh, one of the stickers there was a scuff on a case which I was not happy with, um, so I ended up keeping three games uh, for PlayStation 2 instead of four. So the games for uh, PlayStation 2, um, uh, got ATV uh, Off-Road Fury 3. Uh, in really nice clean condition. Uh, this was I think a pound uh, complete with manual so um, yeah that was really cheap. Then this next game here I actually did have it in my collection already but uh, my copy was rather poor so and this copy is kind of fairly nice and clean um, so I kind of rebought it and it was only 50 pence so I thought why not and it's America's 10 most wanted and it is complete with manual so happy to kind of get a, a, a decent copy uh, this is almost like mint condition uh, also cost me only 25 pence and it is 24 the game uh, I think I did actually have this once upon a time a few years back but I ended up trading it um, didn't obviously sell it for much but uh, got rid of it but yeah uh, getting it back into my collection so complete with manual again so pretty happy about that and then the um, Xbox OG title, X-Men 2 Wolverine's Revenge. Uh, this was in fairly nice and clean condition and this was a pound. Was it a pound? I think it was a pound, yeah. Um, and it is also complete with manual, so I'm really happy about this. Um, I do try to um, pick up Xbox OG games whenever I can get them. Uh, for reasonable price. Um, this is definitely going to be uh, one of the uh, sets uh, I'm going to be trying to complete as soon as I, I can. Um, I, I really enjoy um, collecting for uh, Xbox OG. Uh, it's one of the consoles I got back in the day quite late in its kind of lifespan and I never gave it enough love back then you know I did play quite a few games on the console uh, before I got rid of it um, but yeah uh, I want to kind of get back and ultimately collect well all the games for the, the platform I, I think it's quite quite doable uh, it's not a stupid amount of games um, compared to like PlayStation 2 um, but yes so I am trying to uh, raid also my local CX store ever so often to see if they got any new Xbox OG tiles and if they do especially you know cheaper tiles like that one you know if they're like pound or couple then I'm, I'm quite happy to get them out of CX as well uh, when actually I can inspect them and make sure that they are you know in good good nick and not really wrecked also um, this is going to be a totally separate story uh, altogether um, but I kind of have to mention it uh, speaking of CX there was another game I got out from them earlier in the week and um, 
not really want to, I really don't want to go in a full detail and kind of spoil it because it's going to be a separate video, but ultimately I'd done a trade locally in, in, in about a week, uh, week ago or so, and uh, there was quite a lot of stuff um, and I'm going to show and explain everything in detail in due course, but uh, as part of that trade um, there was also uh, a loose copy, well it's actually had a controller so it was a um, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, NES uh, console with a controller, no uh, no cables but um, I did have um, a power uh, adapter um, from my um, Super Nintendo ultimately, uh, Super uh, SNES and uh, fired it up, all is working and ultimately I, as part of that testing I needed to um, get a game of some sort because actually I did not have a single um, NES game, NES game in my um, collection. So I went to local CX one day and they had three loose copies, that's all they had. Uh, they had one game, I cannot remember uh, what it was called but it was stupidly expensive, it was like 80 quid. Then the cheapest game they had, I think it was about 8 quid and that was some sort of like wrestling game. And uh, they had this one here um, and actually looked up some reviews as well and it seemed to be kind of a fairly decent game. So this was £15 and the cartridge is not mint but it's not bad either so it's in, in fairly good condition and it is a blue shadow. So I used this to test my NES and uh, yeah it is working, the game's working, all is good. So and yeah I am kind of... Uh, uh, really excited about the NES uh, acquisition so to speak because it was one of the consoles um, I have never uh, owned, uh, I have never experienced them really. Um, I have played plenty of NES games back in the day uh, but through kind of like a, a knockoff consoles um, so that's as well going to be like a story at some point. I'm going to be telling you about my kind of gaming uh, past and experience and how it's all started and so on. Um, but yeah, so ultimately I got my hands on on NES amongst other things. But yeah, I'll, I'll be making a video and showing you that as well um, in due course. Now I received um, some um, packages in um, mail earlier in the week. Um, one of the packages that arrived, um, there was three VU games and another Xbox uh, OG title in there and I ordered it from the retailer on eBay um, and I had kind of a bit of bad experience with them in the past so I was uh, quite quite you know dubious in a way that I, I was wondering whether I was going to get really uh, what I paid for or not and unfortunately you know the gamble didn't really pay off properly so first of all um, let's start with uh, Xbox OG title so I ordered a copy of Ultimate Spider-Man and this is actually good Nick um, this is in reasonable condition complete with manual clean uh, disc is good so this is the one I'm, I'm definitely keeping so this is this is a good copy then the one of the um, games for the VU that uh, actually is in kind of decent condition uh, is Just Dance 2018. So this is another VU title I didn't have in my collection so I'm pretty happy to add another VU title. It's been a little while actually since I um, added any VU titles to my uh, collection so I kind of been uh, maybe neglecting my uh, VU kind of collecting, but um, I am I am back. Um, it is complete with manual as well, and also there was a bonus inside. There was also a manual for Just Dance 2016 inside, and um, so I got a spare manual, which is nice. And this is yeah, this is kind of a, a good one. And then there was another two VU tiles, which unfortunately I will be returning. Uh, the first one is not too bad actually. Uh, um, the, the bottom of the artwork is a little bit, um, there's some wear basically on the artwork so it doesn't look the best but apart from that it kind of is okay but I, I'm not sure, no I, I probably will be returning it. Anyway it's Just Dance Kids 2014 so unfortunately I'm sending that one back and this, this one here is totally wrecked, the case is really scuffed. Um, the artwork is kind of bad, it's missing manual altogether and it's a shame, yeah, it's a shame, but um, it's Sonic Boom, uh, Rise of Lyric 
Um, so yeah, this um, this is yeah, this is going back unfortunately. So yeah, uh, I'm gutted. But you know that that is the problem ultimately when you're doing online, um, and especially if they are using the stock pictures. Um, but what's what's really annoying about this, and I, I'm not going to mention the retailer, you know, but he is a, a well-known big retailer, and, and they sell a lot of stuff on eBay as well. Um, they all of their stuff they advertise is very good, and if you look at uh, eBay's um, description of, of what very good uh, means, really, you know, then it means you know there is no any damage. Uh, everything is pretty much, you know, spick and span, okay, it, it doesn't mean it's mint, but it means it's, you know, used condition, but it's in really good condition, well looked after, you know, it's not wrecked in any way, and for example, that Sonic Boom, you know, that would never pass as as, as being, you know, uh, very good, it's, it's good as best, well, it's good basically, yeah, because good, good explains, um, eBay's grading system explains, if you list something good, it should be uh, for stuff that is, you know, a little bit damaged and scuffed and stuff like that that so yeah so a bit annoyed but anyway I'm sending it back but um, to kind of compensate for that I got another uh, VU game which is sealed um, and I've been looking after or, or trying to get this for a little while and finally committed um, this uh, well I, I can't remember the price wise guys what I paid for um, them VU games on uh, Xbox OG uh, title so um, I cannot really quite remember I don't have it in front of me uh, but this one was just under 12 pounds delivered and it's uh, Steamworld uh, collection and it's one of the Nintendo eShop selects so obviously um, this was originally a digital release uh, that also uh, managed to find find its way um, onto kind of a physical release so um, uh, we got uh, two Two games there basically, uh, Steamworld Haste and Steamworld Dig, A Fistful of Dirt. Um, so yeah, super excited, so uh, I actually want to really play this as well. Uh, I played this a little bit on my Steam account and I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be checking this out on the VU as well. And then the last little lot I have here. Um, Basically, I picked up some games, not the games, sorry, some films um, from um, this one particular charity shop I, I keep mentioning occasionally. Um, they're doing the, you know, that deal, five um, uh, media items for a pound. And uh, I picked up some boxes basically from them. Um, and, you know, I wasn't sure what they're going to charge me, but they charged me two pounds for it. And uh, what happened actually, one of the boxes I got was uh, all the Harry Potter films on DVD. There was like eight discs. And I took it down to my um, local CX earlier today and I got 12 pounds credit for it. And straight away I spent uh, 10 pounds of that credit for something else and I'm just going to show you what I got. So first of all, um, a couple of films uh, that I kept from that uh, two pounds bundle. I got a 3D Blu-ray uh, copy of The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, or whatever you pronounce it. So got that one. I'm, I'm keeping this for my collection for the time being because I have not seen this film and um, I want to watch it at some point. Uh, so I'm keeping that one. Then um, <clears throat> I picked up a DVD copy. It's actually an NTSC Region 1 uh, US release. I picked up the Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers Special Extended DVD Edition. Um, didn't really need it, but um, I really like the packing, so I thought for kind of like a, a collectible purposes. I uh, really love this box. Um, it kind of opens up here, in front, yeah, it kind of opens up that way. And then there's another flap one, you get uh, some Gollum sketches, and then there's two DVDs or two DVD cases inside, they come out. And there's five discs in total, and um, I was reading uh, at the back of one of these discs and it is my understanding uh, that one of the discs is kind of like an exclusive uh, disc for this release with some um, added uh, content so I, I want to check it out and see if there's anything kind of like interesting um, then also 
Um, they had uh, Game of Thrones, the complete first and second season on Blu-ray. Um, this is unfortunately missing. There's like a, a sleeve, uh, kind of a slip case that goes on top. That is missing. So this is kind of like uh, a, just this inner box. But even then, um, it was in reasonable condition. So you open it up and here we go. There is both um, seasons in. Now I have not seen an episode of Game of Thrones. Um, it was one of the shows I never was chasing, I never was kind of, never really particularly was looking to watch it. And I know a lot of people were raving at the time about Game of Thrones, um, that apparently, you know, it's so amazing and so on. So uh, now once I got the Blu-ray uh, copies of season one and two, I definitely want to check them out, uh, watch them and, and see what was the, all the fuss about. So yeah, I'm keeping that for the time being. And then also, as part of that kind of two pounds bundle, I managed to pick up um, PlayStation 2 demo disc from PS, PS World. Uh, and it is volume 7 June, and I think it's from 2001. Um, I do like picking up these demo discs as well, as long as they're not kind of like stupidly priced, and if I can get them as part of some bundle deal. Um, I always will pick up demo discs and uh, yeah, I like I like collecting demo discs as well and then the last but not least is the trade deal I got from uh, CX earlier today when I said I I took this Harry Potter and box it down got 12 pounds for it and I wasn't sure really what to get but um, I was looking at a couple PS1 games uh, but unfortunately I wasn't 100% happy with them, there was like uh, cases cracked and stuff like that. And then I spotted this uh, on the like top shelf behind the counter and that's where they normally put some like bigger kind of boxes and stuff like that. And I spotted this uh, bad boy there. So uh, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist, the uh, Ultimatum Edition. Uh, I did have this already on my VU. And I have to say, for whatever reason, this ended up the game. This ended up being one of the games I hammered a lot. And the good thing about the VU um, is that it's actually um, clocks the time, uh, like a gameplay time. And when I went back eventually and looked what I play, how long I played the game for, and I had clocked something like 60 or 70 hours on this game on a VU. Uh, okay, granted I played some online, but uh, it wasn't as much as the single player because I think I played single player starting from the easiest um, setting. Uh, then, you know, was playing through and just going through all that. I think it was like easy, normal and hard if from memory. I think it was only three or maybe four. But anyway, I played starting from easy all the way through to the hardest. And I think there were some achievements as well or something that were kind of giving you in-game and stuff like that. Just to say, oh, you know, you played the game and easy, you completed it, whatnot. So I got really carried away with that game and I really, really enjoyed it. And obviously, once you go up the settings and, 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 and difficulty, basically, um, you know, it gets a bit more challenging and that gives an extra boost as well to kind of complete but yeah it's ended up being one of the games that I really loved I, I played it a lot and uh, when I seen this um, and this was 10 pounds uh, I thought well for 10 quid I'll grab it it's in really nice condition there is a couple of small scuffs here and there at the back uh, but nothing that takes kind of away from enjoyment. It is fully complete, so it's got the main game inside, it's got the 24-page comic book, um, it's also got the special ops watch um, inside. Uh, the lights doesn't light really up properly on it, I, th I think it needs the new battery, um, but apart from that, well, I'll, I'll take it uh, apart and have a look, you know, what's the script with battery. But it is in really nice and clean condition, so yeah, I was super, super excited to grab this for 10 quid. So ultimately I got uh, a little bit of money left um, over as well from that £12 uh, trading deal. So ultimately, this cost me nothing. Well, it was 10 quid, but it cost me nothing, so it's got, I got it that absolutely for free, uh, which makes it even more exciting. All right, guys, uh, that's it. So that was my um, this week's uh, loot. So a, a few things, a few games to add to my collection, a few films, DVDs, Blu-rays to keep and enjoy. Um, but that's it. I'm pretty, yeah, pretty happy with what I got this week. So nothing 
too too crazy, nothing too rare or too expensive. But um, all things considered, you know, uh, anything new I get, I always uh, I always am really excited to add that stuff to my collection. But that's it. So thank you very much, guys, for sticking around. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, consider doing so. And if you have anything to say, any comments, any thoughts uh, to share, then please drop me a comment down below. And that all aside, uh, I shall see you very soon in my next video. Take it easy.